it's it's like you can do whatever i always use this example because it makes the most sense i'm and i'm very open about everything like decisions my past because i just love vulnerability and it's what i preach and teach and so it's what i live i love this example i had a nose job and it mm -hmm. wasn't a deviated, deviated septum i wanted to look less ethnic that's honest mm -hmm. i grew up in a caucasian family um even though i wasn't um i was placed in that family by the state blah 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 i always wanted to look white my whole yeah. life i remember from the time i was four wanting to look white that's crazy right okay and so um and i didn't i have like frizzy hair and i had you know dark stuff under my eyes and i was ethnic i'm moroccan and mexican so i that's what i looked right north african mm -hmm. so i had a nose job never had an issue with my nose a day in my life after my nose job, which by the way, Jenna Jameson's doctor was my doctor. So I had a great mm -hmm. doctor. I now all of a sudden have a lot of allergies and a lot of issues and a lot of sinus headaches and things. Mm. Now, who knows if that was, that's a lot of people that have nose jobs sometimes tend to have issues afterwards with a lot of people have that drip. Thank God I don't have that, but just issues. Right. So it would be like me having an elective nose job surgery and then after rhinoplasty, I have all these challenges and then I demand rights. Mm. Well, now I have all this stuff. I need to have all my stuff paid for. I want a new nose job. I want this, I that. Every time I go into this room, I want to make sure that there's no oil or this incent, this scent because I have nose issues. Like I'm demanding all these things. If I get in an Uber, there better not be this. Or if I go in the rest, like that's just crazy. It was my decision to get a nose job. So right. whatever comes. Right. That is on me, unfortunately, right? Yep, it's yep. the thing with the alphabet community, as you call it. Like, if you decide to whack off things or hack things off or put on a dress or heels or whatever it is you want to do, wear a fake mustache, I don't care what you want to do, but you don't get any special rights because of that. And you're certainly I not agree. going, it's certainly not okay for you to infringe your interesting behavior on our children. They deserve a fair chance at having a quote, normal life without being heavily influenced to cut off genitalia in their teens. Yeah. Like that is ridiculous. I, you know? I'm, uh, I'm falling in love with you because when we, cause you know, again, we, and, and again, let me do a little bit of housekeeping. Make sure that you guys go and subscribe to Janelle's channel. The link to her channel is in the title. Um, and it's in the description as well as a link to her Instagram. Um, and we've been working not even working. We've just been t conversating and having conversations yeah. about doing this for a long time and linking up. Um, and I'm going to be on the West Coast, and we're going to shoot some content, and we're going to yeah. put in person and all of that, right, this weekend. Um, but one of the things that the audience don't know is behind the scenes is that when me and you was just talking about, you know, jumping on here and having conversations, uh, and I kind of was kind of getting a feel for what it is that you wanted to do and, and if there was any additional things that you wanted to touch on, and both of us was like, yo, let's just vibe and wherever the conversation goes or whatever. And then uh, you like, do you want me to keep it PG? I'm like, no, say what the fuck you want to say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like, so that's why I'm loving the conversation right now, because very rarely do you get people that don't want to be PC and they just going to tell, tell you exactly how it is that they see it. Right, yes. wrong, indifferent. You know, we all have different views or we can agree or we can disagree. But the fact that you just so matter of fact and what it is that you're saying and how it is that you feel is almost refreshing because you don't really get that from people, especially on the conservative side, because they're so worried about what other people think about them. Yeah. And that's the thing with me. Like, I lost that a long time ago um, just because of my life, my past. I've had a very unique experience, but I've used all those things and I you know, help a lot of people out today in my nonprofit and you know, I have a TED talk coming out. I have a, my first books coming out. Do you? Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I'm doing like, really like to me, I don't believe in shame. It's the lowest vibration and I just don't subscribe to it. So I feel like if I can be vulnerable and honest about the things that I've experienced, it just helps me to be a better um, expert and coach when I'm working with couples or women, et cetera, men, because I've just seen it all. And there's nothing that I've that I'm, it's, I'm, it's going to shock me. And I don't care really what anyone says or feels about me, unless it's regards to my son, then I kind of, my claws kind of come out. But other than that, like I, it's just refreshing to not, to not care, you know, mm -hmm. just, 
No, yeah, I, I think that it's beautiful. I think that it's absolutely awesome. Let me, let me ask you a question. So let me pivot w- one second because you said something that caught my caught my ear earlier in the stream. Um, and you said that women a lot of times are ruining themselves sexually mm-hmm. with toys. Yes. E- explain that a little bit more. Because a lot of people are really into toys and you know, use the not, those yeah, I mean, you got you get a lot of a lot of things. You you know, you got the rose, and then somebody told me it's one better than that, and all of this other type of stuff. What what do you mean by that? Give me give me a little bit more insight on that. Well, I think in the when you when you start looking at everything in the world as a profit and a gain, like you have to realize that that's how the entire world works especially in the u.s like we can the world is a big place so let's just talk about america because when we're talking about these types of things that people want to make money off of you and they're not really putting products out where they're like oh this is for your well-being those products oftentimes don't get pushed out as much as the other products that just make money Mm -hmm. so when you talk about a vibrator and so many, most every woman has one. If you ask her, do you have a dildo or vibrator? She's going to tell you, yes. Where do you keep it? Right by my dresser, in my dresser, right by my bed, right? Like it's, and they show them in movies too. And it's pretty cliche, but it's pretty true. Um, I think today now there's these sex parties that women have and they have these, um, you know, novelty parties or whatever you call them. And then they all get your friends to buy these dildos and the host gets like a free dildo or some, I don't know, whatever. So this is the thing, especially in middle America when people don't have anything else to do, right? Like <laughs> we're just having little dildo parties and it's norm. It's very normal. But what's also very normal, women not orgasming. So you got to find the correlation, the cause and correlation, right? Mm-hmm. If you're putting these vibrators inside of you that are vibrating in 360 degrees and doing all these crazy things that is unnatural and women are using vibrators or these vibrators daily or very often it's causing like a a desensitization of their yoni of their womb Mm. and then when they actually have sex with a real man his lingam is not able to turn and vibrate and jackhammer in that same fashion. So they can't orgasm. Like mm-hmm. they already couldn't either. The odds were already against them because of trauma, not knowing their body, not being able to surrender. Women don't want to surrender, but they want an orgasm. And they re- they don't realize that the two are very closely related. In order to have a deep orgasm, you have to be able to surrender and let go. 